Hi everyone, uh, this is uh, ME5390 Advanced uh, Thermal Design. Uh, today I'm going to continue uh, Chapter 5. Last time uh, we have discussed the uh, Thermal Electric Generator module. Today uh, I'm going to move on and Thermal Electric Cooler and the heat pump. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me move on. Uh, some electric cooler. Okay. So. Today is uh, about the page 356. Um, so um, I think uh, uh, in, in the earlier uh, section, chapter, Five uh, thermoelectric is uh, reversible. Thermoelectric uh, effect is reversible, and this is a module. And uh, if we pass current, um, there is a electron and holes. Electrons moves, um, so some uh, energy flow. So that uh, I think it's uh, very similar already. Uh, we discussed, uh, uh, you know, so ideal equations, either at the generator or cooler. This is a uh, ideal equations. Um, we talk about the module, so n number of a couple, n type, p type and the uh, Peltier cooling and the Joule heating and the thermal conduction. Uh, this is uh, reversible. This two is uh, irreversible. Uh, this is uh, uh, reversible. Uh, ir ir irreversible. Okay. Uh, Joule heating and uh, and the conduction so um just a unit couple because uh, the module is a uh, the n couple uh, in series okay not necessarily in series but we assume in series and uh, we uh, the phenomena uh, it's very similar, but now, um, uh, say, uh, it, the temperature could be any temperature, but usually when we have a flow of a current, you know, current flow, and uh, uh, there is a Electron flows, holes flow, so that uh, typically it is hot bottom and cold, rather than it's opposite the way uh, usually thermal uh, energy apply and the current. Now is is a cooler. We talk about the refrigerator. We talk about the cooler. Okay. It's very interesting. Um, let me, yeah. I think uh, I'd like to go back and generate a little bit, just to, uh,
ja, this one. The modules are, are exactly same, exactly same. Generator, uh, this is a thermoelectric uh, generator, uh, and then we talk about today, thermoelectric cooler is, is a refrigerator. Exactly same, no, you know, N-type, P-type, and uh, uh, so this is a, a schematic of a unit couple of a T generator, uh, T E Z, and uh, hello. Yeah, I'm in the middle of uh, yeah yeah. Please, uh, I'm in the middle of meeting. Uh, okay, tomorrow night. Oh, uh, yeah, in the morning. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> These days, uh, uh, some important phone call. Uh, okay, now, um, so the uh, TEZ is um, um, we have a uh, hot. And cold, hot and cold. And uh, uh, since this is a uh, hot, it's a lot of uh, uh, electron and uh, less electron for cold, so it's moving. Electron is moving. So once electron moves, the current, the hole is the same, lot of uh, because of hot. Uh, balance, uh, you know, uh, holes and activate and and then uh, uh, less, so is moving the same. So, but the positive moving same direction of current. This is a current. So we have a voltage if we apply the resistance, uh, load resistance we call. And uh, we have a voltage, and uh, power is the voltage times current um, across. So power generated. All right. Okay. Uh, something like EMF. Uh, I think uh, uh, something like EMF, uh, like a battery. Interesting. So the uh, there is a voltage formed, and then we can create the power. Um, that's the what happened: uh, hot and cold. Okay. Now, um, we like to go to a, a cooler. This is uh, now is a cooler, okay? Cooler, cooler is we need current. Uh, we need the current, so we have uh, apply the power, voltage or battery, so that uh, uh, there is a current flow. Since this is a uh, um, the current, uh, uh, this is uh, N type, P type. And, and then once the current flows, opposite direction electron moves because of uh, Coulomb forces. So once the electron moves and the energy flow, uh, we call it um, Peltier uh, uh, cooling. We discussed Peltier. Peltier cooling is we have a current and uh, uh, temperature. So this is a Peltier cooling. Actually, this is a, a originally phi a Peltier coefficient. So current 
so we have uh, some uh, temperature whatever there is a there is a uh, Peltier so but uh, uh, once is current like you can raise a question students I think a little bit you have to understand and then joule heating created joule heating but joule heating there is no directional once it's created half goes up half goes down but also um, interesting is since this is hot and cold thermal conduction uh, thermal conduction so thermal conduction this direction and half this direction this is thermal conduction and uh, uh, Peltier this is a Peltier 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 cooling so Peltier cooling is a uh, alpha T uh, let's say uh, TC okay? and then current and uh, uh, opposite direction of joule uh, joule heating um, and same uh, another uh, opposite direction of a thermal conduction um, from T H T C um, so and then uh, there are n type this is the ideal equations okay so i think uh, um, very similar but now is a uh, uh, cooling uh, we don't need the detail uh, we graduate level and so look at that we have a uh, cooling qc i think i go back So now uh, look at that. We define QC and the QH, H is a hot side, QH. So QC, QH, according to uh, phenomena, uh, we can define. Uh, so that the QC, uh, wait a minute. And uh, QH. So once you have a QC, QH, also the network according to a thermodynamic a first law and very similar, I think, a discussion, power and voltage. Now, what is efficiency of a refrigerator, COP, rather than efficiency is uh, typically is less than one so we cannot use it cop could be higher so we rather than efficiency we use a cop refrigerator definition is the same output over input so what is a, a cooler uh, again what is a cooler is goal okay now is a cooler what is the goal of a cooler? Is cooling. So, um, COP refrigerator. What would be output? Is must be cooler. So, what would be input? Um, this is power. Uh, power um, is voltage current you know what well, actually current the voltage then power uh, anyhow so power uh, rate change um, so this is the uh, uh, 
efficiency on, we don't use efficiency, per, coefficient of performance, COPR. Okay, so uh, once we have that, yeah, look at that. So we have all expression plug in, and uh, uh, now uh, heat pump. Let's let's talk about a little bit about what is a heat pump. The refrigerator is goal is cooling. What about the heat pump output and input? What is the goal of heat pump? Anyone knows? Using the symbol here. Hmm? Come on, this is a thermodynamic. Uh, uh, no, uh, thermodynamic, yes. So, what is the goal of a heat pump? No, no one knows about heat pump? Should be QH on the top? Yes. He heating is a goal. Heating is a goal. What would be input? Still work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Still work. The work. Work is a... So once we have that, then we can discuss um, pretty... Yeah, COPR, COP heat pump, look at the QH, and, and then whatever it defined. And, uh, uh, well, some, uh, it turns out the maximum power. Uh, it's okay. And uh, uh, we take a derivative of uh, optimum. Um, COPR with respect to current. And uh, and then we, we have some expression. This is a, a, a COP optimum. Okay, COP optimum in terms of COP optimum. And uh, um, the GT, uh, we, GT is uh, in, in, Average T average value high low average G T average is a T H plus T C divided by average. In generator, it's okay. In generator, you usually apply so so that uh, you know. But uh, in cooler. Cooler is is uh, um, um, the goal is uh, cooling is not known usually, not known. Th -E is go back. That's a little bit you have to structure of. Uh, The no, no, it's cooler. So hot and cold uh, TCQH. Um, I, I forgot the what I supposed to say something. Anyone give me a hint? I, I forgot that. Huh? <laughs> I came here to explain something, but <laughs> okay. Um, let's go back. Oh, I got it. Oh my. Yes. So, uh, the nature is, uh, this is uh, uh, to the usually ambient, uh, T, uh, H is uh, ambient, 
uh, dissipation. But the cold, this is the goal, and uh, you, sometimes we don't know how much we can achieve. So if we have a measurement, uh, uh, usually this is uh, ambient, but TC is depend on the power, depend on the efficiency, uh, depend on the performance. So TC is uh, depend on the how good performance. So uh, that was the industry people they uh, don't know TC. So this kind of expression, although uh, maximum current uh, is uh, alpha TC, but TC is not known, uh, industry people. So this is not much useful. Um, that is a little weird. The theoretical book, handbook, uh, everything, is in terms of TC, but industrial people, they cannot use uh, uh, this kind of things in terms of TC, COP max, uh, and then even in terms of average, this is not very useful. TC is a question, okay? So um, that was a little, difference between industry people and uh, summer electric uh, academia. When I look at it, something wrong. Okay, not very useful theory. So this is my work. I said the TC is not known, TH is known, like industry. So I'm agree with the industry people. So I work on that uh, current maximum in terms of TH, excluding TC and the material. Um, can you answer what is R, anyone? Resistance. Of what? There are many resistance. Resistance of what? Th that's not enough resistance. Is it the load? No, that's why. It is not the load. There is no load in of the material. Yes, internal material the P type, N type, okay? The material resistance, yes, you're right. Anyhow, so th this is, uh, uh, um, uh, I, I developed uh, maximum, and the temp, it, it's a very interesting. There is maximum temperature difference. Temperature difference is a T H minus T C, so maximum, maximum means this is minimum. Then it's a maximum, yes or no? TH is constant. So th this is a minimum is good. No, good or not, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, usually, um, when we uh, some, uh, but minimum, not necessarily good, but uh, there is minimum, then it's a maximum, okay? No more than that, interesting, very interesting uh, characteristic of cooler about this, okay? So G value is the same and uh, uh, I max in terms of uh, delta T max, uh, another expression. This one or this one. This is original, uh, I found it, okay? Uh, still ideal, I'm sorry, again. And this is still ideal uh, equation, ideal equation, which, what is the ideal equation check? 
Anyone? Any, can you say something about ideal equation? Say something. What is real then? Hmm? Final exam, I'm going to talk about uh, chapter five, conceptually and the calculation. So you, you should be able to answer. Anyone, if, if anyone has a, a little bit idea about ideal equation, please participate. It's the Q dot with Peltier cooling and Joule heating and um, thermal conductivity. That's not enough. Yeah, you're right. But uh, that's, uh, I can give you uh, 50%. It's so more, I think you have to understand ideal equation. Anyone? How many students? Uh, students are there? 15 students, yeah. No one can answer? I believe this is not good. <clears throat> um, you working on the homework, you do some example, you have to read the book. But none of the students able to a little bit the essence of ideal equations. Was it was the heat generation equation that you came up with for combining the three thermal effects during the heat generation? <clears throat> Not enough, fifty percent still. Your answer is only 50%. Okay. Then I have to go back. I have to go back. Uh, I cannot skip. It's okay, it's okay. No, it's not easy. Uh, so we here we talk about ideal equations, original, okay? So this is, is uh, the phenomena, okay? Heat flow, nothing to do with the ideal. Uh, and not, not, nothing to do, but this is, is a real heat flow is Peltier cooling and conduction. And, uh, and then uh, thermal, um, diffusion equation, plug-in, and uh, we come up with this. This is the, uh, uh, numerically, uh, this is real. Okay, it's, it's, um, it, it's uh, uh, complicated. So that idea is uh, we like to simplify and uh, We, we like to discuss more, okay? That's what we did. So what is a simplify is assumptions, three assumptions, three assumptions. C back is independent of temperature, one. No thermal electrical contact resistance, two. No heat loss, conduction, convection. So we assumed, and uh, and then look at that, d alpha dt, that is temperature dependence. This term is just go because of, uh, uh, this is Thomson effect. CB coefficient is independent, which is neglect the Thomson effect, Thomson effect. So once we do that, then, 
ideal equation. So three assumptions um, neglect the Thomson effect and the, neglect the contact resistance and neglect the heat loss, radiation and convection, then ideal equation. Okay, that's, that's the I'm asking you ideal equation. Okay, so um, now the maximum parameter because uh, again I want to uh, make a, a characteristic uh, curve um, normalize. Once I, I, I define the maximum value, I can normalize a beautiful uh, characteristic curve so so that again uh, we're able to maximum cooling maximum cooling and the maximum heating and uh, and then i was able to normalize this, this is my work otherwise uh, uh, we have to provide a specific value then we can plot i don't want to do that generalize this is normalized qc over q max and uh, uh, cop is a, a anyhow non-dimensional so i can use it and the uh, maximum cop even i expressed and maximum voltage and even gt i don't want the tc so in terms of th look at that so even GT in terms of uh, TC, everything is, uh, uh, then I was able to uh, see plot it, okay? Um, the QC, uh, when I do that, this is a look at a little work. I did it uh, in terms of uh, Delta T, so QC over QC max normalized is function of first of all delta T over delta T max because delta T max we know that and I over I max once I I I know the I max one more anyone to can you figure out one more because the delta T max over TH is, is given. No, no, somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, here. Delta T over TH is a function of uh, GT, interesting. GTH. So can you find one more uh, parameter functional QC over Q here? What would be one more parameter affect the cooling power? Hmm? Look at it. This is given, this is given, this is a function of GTH. This is given. Can you figure out one more? Or, or do you, don't you know what I'm talking about? It? Or, or if you have question, you can raise a question. I, I'd like to discuss uh, the, the concept of cooling using the normalized which, which means uh, you don't follow anything <laughs> hmm? 
So you said delta T over T max is given and ZT yes. I over I max is given. Say again. I over I max is a parameter, one parameter I said. Yeah, and delta T over T max. And then there's. What was third function parameter? Is it delta T max over TH? Yeah. It's the inverse of the first one though. Does that count as a, another parameter? Just the answer. I don't know what it's question. This delta TH is a GTH. So ZTH is the third parameter? Yes, yes. Look at that. Uh, you know, this is a GTH. This is a GTH and delta T. So everything is a GTH. That's amazing. Uh, again, I like to QC over QC max is function of delta T over delta T max, one parameter. And then uh, I over I max. And then G. TH. I never used the TC. G TC is not known. I'm using GTH. This is industry people, they are using that. So once I, even this is ideal equation, it makes sense. Current, if I apply the current, okay. And uh, GTH is a property, you know, a uh, figure of merit. Uh, once uh, we have a material, then we have a Z. TH is ambient or mostly, you know, some H side. So that uh, we can functional expression of this in terms of uh, temperature difference. That's the what happened if we run it. Okay, so um, that's what uh, I can plot it. Okay, now I can plot it. Tc of T max, delta T, and the current, and the voltage is uh, too many information. So um, the QC one by one, cooling power, I think QC is uh, I call cooling power. Cooling power uh, is depend on the current, uh, the ratio of current. Okay, and then temperature ratio. Okay, or voltage again is the current and the voltage. This is a characteristic of a, of a thermoelectric module because I'm using N. Interesting is I think that you should understand, I don't need the N. I don't need the N. Why? It's canceled. N is canceled. Look at that. COP, N is canceled. So nothing to do with the N. But the expression QH is N. Yeah, I know that. N, number of QC, cooling power, depend on the N, yes. But the characteristic is nothing to do in general. This is a general. Wow. Because of ratio. Ratio. This is a characteristic of a cooler, thermoelectric electric cooler. Um, we have another uh, plot, uh, a normalized chart too is now in terms of 
current. This is a practical because a solar electric cooler current is option. You can apply the current, but how much you can apply? That's the question. So operation. This is the operational uh, condition. How, how much current can I put? Uh, so that uh, this is a characteristic. Once you know the max, then the how much current. This is cooling power ratio. This is cooling power. And this is a COP. So first to look at the cooling ratio. Um, suppose uh, you use the um, uh, 0.7, suppose. Okay, now, suppose. Example, now we example. And uh, uh, delta T over delta T max is uh, 0.3. Then what would be QC over QC max? Can you read for me? Can you can you give me answer? This is a characteristic, general, very general, nothing to do with the N. Oh my goodness. But still ideal, okay. Can you read for me or not? Come on, students. Uh, I just uh, read it. Okay, now. Delta T is a point 0.3. So, so, so this is the curve. Power. Cooling power curve. And uh, I said the uh, current is a point seven operation. So point 0.7 is a current. So what would be can you read for me now? QC, cooling Point power. 0.55. Five. Yeah. 0.55. If we know the Q max, if we know the Q max, do you think you can calculate the real? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But this is still uh, ideal. Now, uh, do you think a COP of R, anyone? Now, a little challenging. Okay, do I have to draw? Okay, fine. Point three, temperature. Temperature is point three, I said, ratio. So, so must be this curve, this curve. And then current is a point seven, point seven. So this is intersection. So can you read for me what would be COP? About, about. Uh, students, help me, please. Would it be 0.8? 1.7? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. You saved my lecture. Point, about 0.7. 0.7, oh my God, COP is 0 0.7. We, we just got it from, from the general 
Is it the real? I will show you. I will show you. Actually, it is the real. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anyone knows uh, the current industry about the GT value? About, about material. For, for module, if you buy 30 bucks of a module, then then what would be GT value of that? You have no idea? Here choices, one, two, three, four, five. What, what, is, a, what is a current technology of a material GT value? Oh, I think we are too fast. We have to go back. Uh, sorry. Uh, first, you remember, right? We discussed in the beginning. Some electric. Chapter five. We talk about the uh, Seebeck. We talk about the uh, Thompson. Uh, we talk about the uh, Peltier. Um, so that we talk about the uh, uh, phenomena, electron, hot and cold. Uh, this is commercial module, something like that. And Thomson effect, this is a voltage, Shiva. As long as we have a voltage, there, uh, no, 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 temperature difference, that causes a voltage. Simple Shiva. Small sometimes depend on, depend on the uh, Shiva coefficient. But anyhow, we can find some good mat material um so Peltier Thompson's this is Thompson and we have a Thompson this is Thompson coefficient that's why Thompson effect we call Thompson effect because temperature de dependency with the temperature and this is a figure of merit alpha square rho k in figure of merit and the uh, material we were talking about and uh, uh, the most of material we are using is bismuth telluride so about 300 this is the most material is about one is a one about about one okay for room temperature room temperature about one is the uh, current technology we are looking for higher gt value that's uh, uh, there are some development higher value two three uh, but uh, still we need uh, uh, some development okay so gt1 is current technology um, and uh, uh, this is cooler we talk about uh, now cooler so this is one is about the technology so if a g temperature ratio is a 0.3 is about one is this is a cop refrigerator maximum possible okay something some some give you idea now I like to give you a, a real commercial. Uh, I I posted uh, so you can have it. Uh, one of a good company, layer type CP, and uh, uh, 
the characteristic. The real, this is a measurement. Measurement. I think uh, um, uh, you have to really compare with uh, this. Copy. This is a general, and uh, I can paste here. I mean the look at it. the The, the right side is is a, a general characteristic general uh, we don't know material we don't know anything but uh, theoretically normalized and then we got this and this is a measurement now real value okay and, and this is a ratio and uh, uh, they say this is cooling Th this is a cooling power Okay, so so I have to write this is a cooling power watt. This is 20 watt or it's cooling power. So and the current, this is current uh, ampere. Ampere current. And this is delta T. So delta T, this is uh, increasing. This is uh, the other way, it's opposite. And uh, they say th this is no more maximum. No, this, this is, 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 is whatever uh, you know they obtain um, maximum. This is no more than that that they say. So. What do you see the between this and these, the characteristic? Say something. Just, just the characteristic. This is real left. This is a ideal characteristic. Okay. What would be um, uh, according to this? um the uh what would be i max real here anyone amperes can you figure out would it be 3.9 yes yes look 3.9 is maximum. What is the temperature max? Anyone? Just, just uh, what, look at the, what is maximum show? What any curves the maximum show? Sixty-five degrees Celsius. Yeah, yeah, sixty-five. About about here. Sixty-five. So, do you see that the 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 uh, uh, appearance is amazing, amazing uh, similarity. So my question is, if I use the delta T max, 
here. Um, you're able to predict the uh, performance. IMAX, you can use the IMAX, Delta T Max, you, you can get the cooling. Let, let, let's say, uh, sorry. Oh, no. Uh, cannot. I cannot. So, um, Anyhow, yeah, uh, you know, point seven. I said, uh, suppose our example, uh, delta t uh, example, you know, delta t, delta t max is a uh, point. Uh, what I three, i i max is a point seven. Suppose, then what would be q c q max? So. Um, delta T is 0.3 is here, and then uh, I max is 0 0.7. So 0 0.8, 0 0.6, I think uh, point, point, point 0.8 is here, 0 0.6, so 0 0.7 is about here in the middle, and then. That's the, can you read the QC? Somebody help me. About. Hmm? I, I just read it, uh, just read it. You see over. Help me. Would it be like point five two or point five five? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, do you do you think a QC is what is what? Because. Uh, uh i'm sorry qc max in 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 this what is a qc max qc max can you read for me in this real like 34 yeah yes thank you 34 what so that uh, now the our question is what is the cooling power for that uh, so qc is 0.52 times uh 34 uh, this is a Q max, Q C max, 34 watt. So it's about half is uh, 17, about, uh, it's about 17 watt. This is the, actually 17 watt is, you can find it. If you, if you carefully look at it, you can find from the plot. The voltage is the same. What is a, a voltage max? Can you read in this? Oh, 
port. Like port. 14 volts? Yes, yes. This is the maximum port, 14 port, pretty max. Um, because square is maximum. This is I max, I square, I max. So, so must be this. And uh, look at that. Our our ideal is this is voltage very close to. So it turns out, this is very interesting. If we use these, if we know the max value, you can come up with a real value. Yes, answer is yes. And uh, where is that? Okay, now, this is a, a hot side temperature um, two, uh, 25 hot side, TH, TH is given 52 to given. I told you, TH is usually is constant known, but TC is not known, okay? TC is not known. So here, the actually they don't. We can come up with a TC with the measurement. Okay, so so th this curve in agreement with the industry, obviously, and uh, uh, TC uh, is twenty. Let's say this. Okay, twenty five. And then what is the QC max? Is a 34. Delta T max, 67. QC max, I max, 30.9. V max, 14. Wow, do you see that? So this is now in agreement with our calculation. So, um, I think uh, uh, I'd like to go to uh, 1 over 16, or I forgot, 15, 16. I think 16, yeah. This is a, a one of a problem. This, suppose we have a, like a module, the students, they picked a, a module and then the, the manufacturer provide these, okay, and then we run it a certain condition. Do you think uh, you can do something? Uh, not the 16, 17. Yeah. Do you think you can calculate the COP? And uh, cooling, uh, hot and cold is given. Uh, look at that. As long as this, you can figure out the maximum values and then using ideal equations, uh, normalize the chart, and you can figure out something. It works. Okay. And uh, uh, let me see some examples um, are given here. Uh, for example, I, I this is one of our, I'm uh, yeah uh, the uh, layered uh, I showed you. So actually, they use uh, 127 thermocouple. 
and uh, the maximum value, we, we just got it. I max, Q max, I showed you, V max. So, um, so th this is an example, actually. Um, the real value, this is a real, okay, real. And uh, uh, I'm not going to talk about this one uh, too much, but uh, uh, something uh, we like to understand uh, the same, the other. Uh, there are more uh, examples, and uh, you can answer for uh, performance, real performance I'm talking about, real performance using these. Okay, so you have to a little bit understand, although this is ideal, but once we normalized and the maximum values from real plot, then we're able to figure out the, the real performance, current, cooling powers. Otherwise, it is very difficult for, for designer. Okay, even all even though, oops, okay, I have to a little tell you. Even though we have, uh, this is all they provide. This is all they provide. This is all they provide. But when we run it, how we can estimate the cooling power? How? They don't care. They just provide the measurement. But the designer, we purchase this module and put into our system. And uh, uh, even, yeah, we can have some measurement, but uh, even we can predict some, some performance, cooling power. Actually, yes, using normalized chart. Because since we have a maximum values, we can normalize the chart, we can predict actual value that it works so that we can design the system using their information in our system this is look at that this is uh, just the, the the commercial module we can buy it and and we can predict we can do that now we have tools I developed the tools we can do design. Okay, so I think that's uh, all today. And uh, there is a homework assignment. Uh, homework assignment uh, 5, 16, 5, uh, uh, 15, 5, 15, 5, 16, 5, 18. Um, and uh, the book has an example. I think you have to go through example and then do homework next week. Okay, any question? I'm done. Uh, although, what you, sorry. Yes. What were you yes. talking about the final next week? Uh, say again, final what? Will we be talking about the final next week and what? Oh yeah, yeah. I okay. will talk about. I will talk about. But the so the the uh, chapter five is the most important part of chapter final exam. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you have to work hard on the examples, and uh, as long as you're able to, and 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 next week a little bit uh, example problem maybe I can go over. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.